guys welcome back to my channel so today I created this look I did this look on Friendsgiving when I did a Friendsgiving with all my friends and you guys really really loved it and requested me to film it so here I am filming it for you guys if you want to see how I recreated this look then just go ahead and keep on watching okay so I'm gonna be using the Jaclyn Hill palette and the subculture palette I'm gonna use one color from this palette but for the most part, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. So the first color I'm going to dip into is this color right here. That's just going to be our transition shade. And if you guys are wondering, I did dye my hair. It's not as dark as I wanted it to be, but what ifs? I went through this thing where I was like, one night, where I was like, I'm just going to cut off all my hair and I'm going to dye it blonde. And then I was like... No, I'm too scared to do that. So then I was like, okay, I just want like change. And I was going through like old pictures and I saw like when I had really dark hair and I was like, okay, I want to dye my hair dark again. So now we're here, but it honestly looks the same to me. I don't know. If, can you guys tell? I can't really tell. I'm going to take that color on this Makeup Shack brush and it doesn't have a number, but it's just this really fluffy brush if I can find it on their website I will link it down below okay so now I'm gonna take this shade right here and I'm just going to put that a little bit lower than the transition shade on the same brush. So how was your guys' Thanksgiving? Mine was pretty chill. I just hung out with my mom because the rest of my family was in Louisiana. And so, and my brother lives in Michigan. So yeah, it was just me and my mom. It's been like that for the past couple of years though. It's just like been me and my mom. But she cooked a lot of food. It was so good. So let me know down in the comments what you guys did. I would really love to know how your guys' Thanksgiving was. Hopefully it was wonderful and you ate lots of food. I ate so much food. I knocked out like right after. So once there's like less product on the brush, we're just going, we're just going to like slowly blend upwards, if you know what I mean, with a light, light pressure. Okay, and now we're gonna take this color right here and we're just gonna do the same exact thing. So I was at Sephora yesterday and I almost bought one of the Sephora Pearl palettes because I swatched it and I was like, damn, like this has a lot of pigment. It was like super pigmented. They're like $70 though. And I was like, hmm, should I get it? I posted on Snap and I asked you guys if I should get it and do a review on it. But I realized that like most of the colors that were in that palette I already had like in other palettes so I was like why am I gonna buy this when I literally already have all these colors but I don't know I still kind of want to buy it so let me know if I should if you guys would want to like see a review on it also on Black Friday I did go on elf and I bought so much stuff they were having a 50% off and I wanted to buy better stuff because I feel like my last elf video I used kind of like shitty products, so I wanted to use better products this time. So I went ham, and a lot of you guys are asking for more drugstore tutorials, which I'm so down for. So yeah, that will be coming soon. Now I'm going to take the color All Star from the Anastasia palette, which is right here. It's just like a dark plum shade. I'm actually going to take that on a Makeup Shack T64 brush. Right. 
And now I'm going to cut the crease with Tarte Shape Tape and a Morphe E39 brush. And I'm just going to go to the natural shape of my eye. And now I'm just going to wait for it to dry a little bit, of course, and then I'm just going to put the top color on. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to take that edge color and start packing that on the lid. Now I'm going to take this Urban Decay Heavy Metal Liner and I'm just going to line the top of it. I actually forgot to like blend the outer color into the yellow so I'm just gonna do that now now I'm gonna do my eyeliner and I'm gonna use the balm liquid liner I hate doing eyeliner on camera because I always feel like I'm gonna mess up so what's that what's that okay Damn, I have hella fallout. I should probably wipe this off. And now I'm gonna flick it out for the wing. Okay. I'm scared. Imagine if I messed up on the wing, that would mess up the whole eye look. That's why I hate doing wing eyeliner, like I never do it because I'm like, oh, if I mess up, it's going to mess up the whole eye look. We made it through, y'all. We made it through. I'm just going to clean up the edge with some concealer. Now I'm going to put on my lashes, and these are the Slay Lashes in the style Toxic. And I'll be right back, and then we're going to move on to the base. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with primer, and I'm going to use the Smashbox Photo Finish, finish, photo finish Primerizer. I don't know if I want to go in with the HD stick or the Jouer foundation because I, this might be actually too light. Actually, yeah. So I'm going to go in with the shade Porce. So yeah, I'm going to go in with the shade Porcelain in the Jouer foundation. You guys know I love this foundation. And then I'm going to take my Morphe M439 and buff that in. It's so full coverage, like, wow. And then for concealer, I'm going to use Tarte Shape Tape. And then to set everything, I'm going to use my Laura Mercier powder. I really need to like get my mustache waxed because it's so bad. I'm going to take this Morphe brush and just buff everything in. Now I'm going to go in with my Butter Bronzer by Positions Formula. 
And I'm actually going to use the MAC 140S brush to really chisel out my cheeks. Now I'm going to go in with the Morphe M403 and I'm just going to bronze all over. And then for blush, I'm going to use this blush, Nectarine, on the same Morphe M403 brush. Then I'm going to set my face with the Urban Decay Setting Spray. And now I'm going to highlight with Laura Geller Gilded Honey. God, I can't talk. With Laura Geller Gilded Honey. And you guys, I found my favorite highlighting brush. I'm so happy. Because I lost it for a fat minute. But your bitch is back. <laughs> this is the Anastasia A23 brush. Best highlighting brush, hands down, ever. Okay, so I didn't do my lips on camera, but I just used the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in Sweets with the Sleek Lip Liner in Misconduct 294. And yeah, this is the completed look, you guys. I really hope you loved it. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and subscribe if you aren't already. I will leave something up here to where you can subscribe to and don't forget to turn my post notifications on if they aren't on already so you can be notified when I post a video. So yeah, I'll see you guys in my next tutorial. Bye!